Nine Stupid Mistakes Women Make in Bed Navigating the complexities of sexual relationships can be tricky. For many women, especially when they're trying to make a connection with their partner, some well-intentioned decisions might actually be mistakes that work against them. These blunders can impact the sexual experience for both partners, and over time, might even lead to dissatisfaction. To help women create a more fulfilling sexual experience, let's dive into the nine most common mistakes women make in bed. 1. You don't initiate sex. One of the biggest misconceptions is that men should always be the ones to initiate sex. Many women hold back because they fear being perceived as overly aggressive or forward. But in reality, men love when their partner takes the lead. It shows confidence and enthusiasm. Waiting for your partner to make the first move every time can leave him wondering if you're truly interested. Break the mold, take charge, surprise him, and start the action yourself. It could ignite a new level of excitement in your relationship. 2. You fake it. We've all heard about women faking orgasms, but this is a habit that can do more harm than good. When you fake an orgasm, you're training your partner to think they're hitting the mark when they aren't. Honesty in the bedroom is key. If you don't communicate that you're not fully satisfied, your partner will continue repeating the same moves, thinking they're doing everything right. Be open about what works for you, and your partner will be more than willing to make adjustments. 3. You're obsessed with how you look. Many women get caught up in worrying about their physical appearance during sex. Whether it's the size of your thighs, the appearance of cellulite, or any other insecurities, these concerns can prevent you from fully enjoying the moment. Here's the truth. If your partner is in bed with you, they're attracted to you. They're not analyzing your body flaws. They're more focused on the pleasure they're experiencing. Confidence is sexy. So let go of your body image worries and focus on connecting with your partner. 4. You put your guard up. It's easy to get caught up in protecting your emotions, especially if you're afraid of being hurt. But sex, particularly when you're sharing it with someone you care about, is about vulnerability. Some women build walls around their emotions to avoid being hurt, but that can prevent them from fully enjoying the sexual experience. Try to focus on the present moment and let your guard down. Connect emotionally with your partner and allow yourself to be vulnerable. After all, that's part of intimacy. 5. You think men want sex all the time. There's a stereotype that men are always ready and willing to have sex at any moment. While men do have strong sexual desires, they're not always in the mood. Just like women, Men can be tired, stressed, or emotionally drained, which may affect their sex drive. If your partner isn't in the mood, don't take it personally or start worrying that they're not attracted to you anymore. Give them space and understand that they may just need some time to recharge. 6. You only have sex in bed. Routine can kill the excitement in any relationship, and the same goes for where you choose to have sex. If the bed is the only place you're intimate, things can quickly start to feel stale. Get creative. Explore new locations, whether it's the couch, kitchen counter, or even the shower. Adding some spontaneity to your sex life can rekindle the spark and keep things exciting. It's about breaking free from the norm and discovering new ways to enjoy each other. 7. You don't enjoy giving oral sex. While some women love giving oral sex, others see it as a chore they just want to get over with. Rushing through it or making it obvious that you're not into it can diminish the experience for your partner. Taking your time and putting in some effort will show him that you're engaged and want to make him feel good. And the best part? He'll likely return the favor with even more enthusiasm. Remember, sex is a two-way street and showing pleasure in giving can lead to more pleasure in receiving. 8. You're too quiet. No one expects over-the-top fake moaning like in adult films, but complete silence during sex can be just as harmful. Your partner wants to know that they're pleasing you, 
and one of the best ways to communicate that is through sound. Letting out small, natural sounds of pleasure can boost your partner's confidence and encourage them to keep going. Complete silence might make them feel like you're bored or not into it, which can lead to insecurity on their part. Don't be afraid to express your pleasure vocally. 9. You pretend you're more experienced than you are. There's no shame in not knowing everything about sex. But some women feel the need to act like they're sexual experts, especially if they're trying to impress a new partner. This can lead to awkward situations where you pretend to enjoy things you don't or try things you're uncomfortable with. Be honest about your level of experience and communicate openly with your partner. Let them teach you new things and you'll both enjoy the journey together. Conclusion. Making mistakes in the bedroom is natural, but understanding what those mistakes are and how to avoid them can lead to a much more fulfilling sex life. Whether it's taking the initiative, being honest about your needs, or letting go of insecurities, small changes can make a big difference. At the end of the day, the most important thing is communication, trust, and mutual respect. Don't be afraid to talk to your partner about what you want and need. It's the key to a healthy, happy sexual relationship. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.